Hello. Do you enjoy combat? Combat. Inspired trade. Everything nice. These are the ingredients. Along with all of these corsets, these completely normal corsets. Today in RimWorld we're using the corset industry to fuel our trade. Nothing to see here, just some completely uh, normal corsets. Move along. The plan today is to use corsets in order to fuel our trade with, well, traders uh, in the sky. Our colony is pretty much perfect at this point. Well, it's not perfect, but it's, it's pretty much perfect, yeah. I mean, look at everyone's mood. They just had a wedding. They're all as happy as can be. Now, the only thing we're really missing is, like, everyone in cataphract armor. Or at least, we'll need to figure out a way to make them warm in cataphract armor, but, uh, yeah. There's mods for that. This is the best colony I've ever... Fuck. Still the best colony I've ever created. It's just so smooth, so well run. We literally brew our own libations. That's nice. That's nice. Now we have even more corset production. All of this, of course, will result in fabulous riches because the demand for corsets is so astronomically high on our planet. I mean, just look what's happened to our colony's wealth over the last few days. I don't know, this is just excellent. This is, look, it's literally excellent. 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 Literally, they're all excellent. Or, well, some of them are excellent. And look, look how happy they are working. Working. I never really understood why they don't get some kind of debuff from working with this type of leather. Well, that's perfect. That's just perfect. Give me your sails. Here goes nothing. Take all of that. Thank you. Now we play the waiting game. Except waiting isn't a game, it's just... It's just waiting. Look at these raids, man. Look at these raids. They don't stand a chance. They don't stand a chance. Well, they do, they do, but it's very, still going to be fairly difficult for them to get in. Look how badly he's hurt. Look at him go. Look at him go. Very difficult for uh, mechanoids to attack us. Very difficult. Not easy. Not easy. Oh, Jesus. Lara Interplanetary. You know, I just recently learned, I think that these names are supposed to be like, automatically generated. Like, they're not hard-coded in. Amazing, right? Amazing, right? Take all. Take it all. Jesus Christ, we're rich. We are rich. We're not rich. We're middle class. Ooh, a blue lamp. I'm willing to bet it all. There comes the stuff. Amazon Prime. Nowhere to better to put the lamp than in the refrigerator. Ah, uh, with all of this granite, we can finish our walls. No one's stopping me. But since sappers keep getting through, we're just gonna thicken the walls even more. Maybe as many as five or so. I literally- I have no other solutions than this. Just make the wall thicker. Yes! Rob and Boots are getting married. Ah, the marriage of Rob and Boots. Good. Good. That's an extreme buff to Look at how many there are in our colony now. Again, I... I play the waiting game, but it's not a game. It's it's not fun. A clusterfuck. Well, that doesn't even make a difference. I mean, it's probably gonna be worse for people who raid us. What is that? Oh, okay, this might contain more mechanoids. Very inventive, Tynan. I accept your challenge, but this is... Again, probably just gonna be worse for our enemies than it is for us. Ooh, masterwork took. That's kind of a weird item to make. The turrets sleep peacefully. Wh why is that? <laughs> why is that? Look, even this thing is sleeping. This is sleeping. What are they? What are they? All I'm saying is, that's nice. That's nice. I want that. Yeah, yeah, I'll take that. Bring that back. You equip that, actually. Bring that back. Who is it that? Roma is good in melee, okay. Roma, you take that. Actually, you know, I think Owl will be cooler with this. All right, put it on. Jesus. She, all right, she's well enough insulated. I mean, you know, if you're okay with it. This is kind of neat though, you know? I mean, if only she had some head protection, that's the one thing that's missing, but... Uh, all right. I mean, you do have a plasma sword on the other hand. Obviously, this isn't gonna be very good for daily tasks though, so let's go ahead and just use it for combat. All right, everybody's drafted. Go, baby. All right, uh, let's test this out. All right, I'm counting on you, Otter. Don't let me down. You stand there. That looked pretty decent. Everybody else hit that thing. Oh, this isn't gonna go very well. Go ahead, break that down, break that down. It's about to get bad. Get in cover. And here come more mechanoids. Go ahead, blow up him. Go, my people. Careful, my people. Here comes some more. Okay, uh, get to cover. Get to cover, my fuck. Uh, we're, we're gonna get hit. We're gonna get hit a lot. Just be careful. Be careful. You defend the line. You get there. Uh, hide. Okay, everyone else behind that wall. 
You fight that. And oh my god, that looks bad. Good. Go in there. You just get that thing. Get that thing. Great work. Ah, excellent. Good job, everyone. You you two go ahead and fight him. You just get over here. They need to come to us. Get that. You guys get that thing. You three wait over here. And here they come. Look, that's great. Isn't that great? Now all we could use is some armor. Hide, 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 hide. That doesn't sound good. Okay. All right, no one was hurt. You two over here. Destroy that. You guys get over here. You go over there and throw a grenade. Uh, no, don't throw a grenade at them. That seems very difficult. You go over there. Lobster is down. Crap. At least we can fix the temperature here. There goes one. Everyone get to cover. I need a sniper. Save her. Save her. You go over there. You get in there. You all go do a, do a flanking maneuver. Prepare a flanking maneuver. There we are. And safe. Sort of. Alright, everybody go heal up, heal up, people. No one died. That was important, you know. We got a lot of stuff from it. Well, Orange survived getting shot in the head with a needle gun, so... I'd say that that's a win for one day. You know, I'd honestly call this a win. I'd call that a dub. The cataphract armor works, and many a mechanoid has been murdered by us. We're just going to forbid this for now. They'll use it for when they're in combat, otherwise it's not worth using up the condition. At least until we can reproduce these things. Well, what does this mean for us now? For one thing, we can build the last of these turrets in our base. That should be more than enough steel as we need to go from here. With that, we finish off the work on those walls, deconstruct the last of what's here, and pick apart the site. Behold the cleaning, ye mighty, and despair. We can even clean things far away from our home now. That's the amount of free time we have on our hands. Another raid. Ha! Behold my turrets, ye mighty, and despair. Get the cataphract armor. Everybody go hide. They're coming fast. All right. Same plan as always. Uh, positions, positions. It's fairly decent at f avoiding friendly fire, considering that this is not really an actual formation. Get on that armor. Do you know, you... You go ahead, you go over here. Hide in- no, don't, don't do that. Hide in there. Good, safe. I have a- I have an idea. I have a plan. Good. You go out here, wait until they're distracted. Throw that in the doorway. And hide again. Ooh, no, no, not like that. Not like that, baby. Good, that's blown up. That was part of my plan. Okay, now you kite them over here. Good, good. Oh, God, Jesus. Look at that. Look at how many there are. Just go hit them. Go hit them, people. Go in for the kill, baby. Yeah. They've adapted four turrets? I think maybe the, the real key there is to just never go anywhere near them at all. Yes, everyone have a meal. Enjoy the meals. I need some auto cannons. Well, I do have another plan to reformat this prison, anyway. Raise the heat and take in more. Now this place is looking actually agreeable. A psychic ship is the least of our worries. Can we be stopped? Well, here goes the rest of the neighborhood. We're straight in for that ship, baby. All right. That was it. Jesus. You know, go home. Just go home. Relax. 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 And... It's dead. Go home. Well, that's a lot of blood for now. And now we play the waiting game. Yes. Yes, my favorite game. I've got a couple things left to do if I really want to make this place feel done. Thrumbo is self-tamed. Oh, Jesus Christ. Female Thrumbo is self-tamed. Oh, hold your horses, man. We gotta tame this one, too. Give it some kibble- kibbles and stuff. All right, apparently this is a thing now. Get in there, Thrumbo one. All right, termite. Termite will tame this Thrumbo. Come on, give it some chocolate. And rice, good, it likes r it likes rice. 1.3% chance. Well, <laughs> I've never seen this before. It has a bad back and its right lung has been destroyed. It was stabbed. It's 142 years old. Is that young? That's, I mean, it's not a great thrumbo. Maybe she's just decided to make this her retirement home or something. But the thought of raising a farm full of thrumbo uh, is actually rather enticing. Great, it's coming into our base. Oh good, it's eating our rice. Good. Okay, I see an opportunity here though. And there we are. Even if I can't tame you, I can still door you. And... And I've done it. I've done it. I have doored in the thrumbo. And I shall door in the others. Even if I can't tame you, I can at least force you to stay in here for a very long time. We'll just need to build a lot more doors. Aha, so many doors that you'll never leave. We'll build doors over here. And doors up here. And doors over here. Even if it's only a 1.3% chance, hey, it's still, uh... I still think it's completely worth it. And eventually, Termite will get better at this. I know this takes a long time, but if we could just get these thrombos to mate, it would make life a lot better. We've even birthed two more muffalo. Crap, this muffalo is mining out. Crap, how is this... 
You shouldn't try to mine out of my base. This thrombo- oh, it's trying to mine out because there's no food in here. Okay. I have something else for you, though. Another idea. <laughs> Please stop trying to mine through the living room. Oh my god. No, stop. All right. We lost, uh, we lost one of them. Jesus. Well, at least this one's still happy here, eating the rice. Now we play the waiting game. It has been a long time. Uh, it has been a long time. Braga is now 60 years old. Orange started out around 25 when we started this. He's 41 now. And now some of my largest questions take place. Can a 143-year-old Thrumbo still have offspring with a 41-year-old male Thrumbo? This is a major question. Also, what does a room covered in completely fine indigo carpet look like? So whether it's a man-hunting pack of polar bears and the sounds they make when you speed up the game and the sounds of their cries of agony. Oh my god. I'd at least like to be able to say that my dining room is extremely impressive. A work of modern art. That the floors are spotless. And that my people are now 15, yes, 15 years older than they were when they started. It kind of makes you want to add the children mod, you know? Normally there isn't enough time for children to grow up, but this one has just been such a snail's pace from the beginning. It's been a long time. It's been a very, very long time. I'm very happy. It's like watching the slow hum of an ant farm now. Really just more gratifying to watch it happen than anything else. There's still a couple more finishing touches to do. I'm gonna just take some more time to finish those off. As much fun as I've had with this one on camera, I've spent a lot of time developing this colony off camera. And I've never done quite so much on my own. So I'm gonna go ahead now and I'm gonna go ahead and say this right now. This might be the greatest looking colony I've ever seen. Or at least the greatest looking one I've ever made. It's been 16 years now. I've done most of this work in the background, but I think it's, uh, if there is any more work to be had, I just, I want to save it for another time. For this one has been... This one has been enough. It's funny, this- usually colonies grow dead to me after they've been around too long, but this one stayed alive in my heart. Maybe because it started with such impossible odds at the beginning. I don't know what it is, this one is special to me. This is probably one of the most special colonies there's ever been. But I do miss, I, uh, having soil. I also miss, uh, Thrumbo 1 being not, uh, wild. I think it's time. I brought you into this world and now I can destroy you. I will see you off. Oh my god, this horrible. Nothing to see here, nothing to... Well, we'll leave this here for now. I've actually got an incredible idea for the next colony. Something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. A very long time. It's, uh, you'll, you'll like it. You'll like it. It's, it's pretty good. Anyway, I, let me know what challenges you want to see in the future next. I've enjoyed RimWorld because it's offered endless novelty over the years, and there's really no... There's no lack of ideas here. I mean, they just keep coming year after year, so it's practically infinite, this game. So Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed. Maybe we'll come and revisit this one some other time, but, uh... But I've thoroughly enjoyed getting to this point with this colony. It's what I wanted, it's what I wanted, and it matches the design I was going for. Except there's a lot of flaws with it, too, you know? I think we found that as we went. You know, we found it as we went. There were, uh, the turrets aren't perfect because they can explode each other. You know, sappers come and do damage to the walls. There's all kinds of things that just, uh, it's, it's very wrong. Is there even such thing as a perfect base? Would be nice to know. That, that seems like an interesting challenge unto itself, you know? Um, that's not what this one was. This one was for looks. And remember, it doesn't matter as long as you look good. All right, on that note, I think we're gonna, uh, I think we're gonna stop it there. Thanks. Hope you enjoyed. As always, uh, many thanks to my patrons. You are the burgundy carpet in which I take pleasure. You are the sole thrumbo wandering among my muffalo. You are the field in which I drown in your love. You are mysterious. Well, next time on to greener fields and pastures new. As always, I'm Ambiguous Amphibian. I hope you enjoyed, because otherwise it's, it's been like 20 videos. Thanks. Goodbye now.